the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, we see that God created our first parents, Adam and Eve. He's given them a beautiful garden, a beautiful life together, every blessing we can imagine, and he gave them a command uh, not to eat from a particular tree. And in one way, what he's saying is, be content with me. Rest in me. I've given you everything. Don't take anything else. And so, of course, they sin. And so what that first sin really was was a declaration. It was a referendum on their ability to be content in God. They appraised what God's given them, and they said they wanted more. So really, at the beginning of the Bible, at the heart, the sin that was created in the Garden of Eden was a sin of discontentment. And then what the rest of the Bible is, you see God in his work of redemption, bringing us back to himself. He's, he's bringing us back through revelation of the word of God and then ultimately in Christ coming and saving us from our sins. He's bringing us back to God and is saying repeatedly to, to find our all in him, to be content in him. And so when you back that up all the way around to the, the work of the gospel and he brings us home, we realize through the gospel that he's, he's brought, us, uh, brought us home to him. But when we find God, we find a God who's actually content in himself. God who's completely independent, satisfied in himself, find God the Father finds his delight in Christ. And we as believers are welcomed into this community of the Trinity. We have fellowship with God and we are able to find our contentment in him. And so if God is able to be content in himself, then we as Christians should be able to be content in him. So contentment has everything to do with God and how he brings us home through the gospel.